So uh, now we see that we have a source directory, a build directory, and a build Xcode directory. Uh, the reason that we, again, separate out those build directories is that we don't really need them uh, when it comes to submitting, for example, a homework assignment. So before you would submit a homework assignment, you would remove build and build Xcode. And then you would have CMake lists and source. Uh, you would also want to make a file called readme.txt. With a little bit of information about what your particular uh, project is working on. And now I sort of have all the components of a homework assignment. So let's make a, a zip file of this Hello CMake project that came from the Hello CMake directory. And I'm going to test on ECE3 how well Hello CMake does. So I'm going to use secure copy. Uh, to copy hello cmake.tgz to my username at ece3.ece.arizona.edu. And I'm just going to copy it to my home directory there. That's what this tilde means. So I know stuff. I've set up a fingerprint identification uh, for secure copy so I don't have to type in my password. Normally here you'd type in your NetID password. So now I'm going to SSH to uh, ECE3. And again, I have a bunch of stuff set up so I don't have to type my password here, but you'll have to type your password. And now, in this directory, I should see a file called hellocmake.tgz. So I'm going to move hellocmake into a directory that I've already set up called ECE275. And now, tarxcf, which means I want to extract uh, a, a zipped file, and then I'm going to provide the file name, hello cmake.tgz. And so I can now go into this hello cmake directory. And even though I'm now on a different machine, right, so this, mach this machine is not my regular machine, this is compute.engineering.arizona.edu, um, now I can actually build the same project that we had before. So I'm going to make a build directory and go into it. And let's see where CMake is. So CMake is still in user bin make, but it's on a different machine. The version of this CMake is pretty old, 2.6. So when you're making your CMake uh, minimum build criteria, don't make the minimum build 3, make it minimum build 2.6. So let's run CMake on the directory above me. And now let's run make. And now let's run hello. And we see that we get the same behavior on ECE3 that we did on my regular machine.